Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Oh man, I was not planning on doing this today. I've had a very long day as it is. I had an early shift at work this morning, and I'm not a morning person, and I've got my own stuff going on right now in my personal life that I'm trying to deal with. But then I saw this video come out, and I wanted to give my thoughts on it, because See, here's the thing, is I know that in some of my videos I've been critical towards peaches, and people might be inclined to think that, like, well, you don't really like peaches, you're siding with Akumo and Kumo, whatever, like, you like, the ones who are really hateful and critical and stuff like that, you're automatically painting peaches as the villain, but it's kind of neither, I'm not really on either side. I like to take a balanced approach and try and look at it from a perspective of being a gray area rather than just black and white. And I want to give my thoughts on the situation as well. And like yesterday I was talking to this whole situation about my therapist because some of this stuff has been something that has hit very close to home for me. And like we were talking a lot about it and she was saying like, you know, cause like I tend to be a very observant person. I think a lot. I'm very introspective. I notice a lot about other people. And she's told me before, she's like, Oh, you should be a therapist. Like you have the potential to really help other people, but that's not the career path I want to go down. But she was like suggesting like, you know, like, well, maybe you could like make content about the situation, even like in regards to some of like the, like the skills you've learned in therapy and stuff like that and trying to provide insight onto that, which was something I'd already been considering. And I really want to dive into some of those topics like about like cancel culture and like emotion mind versus logical mind and stuff. But I kind of want to give my thoughts on some of the points in this video and then just say whatever else I need to say afterwards. And because this is kind of just on an on-the-spot thing, but I do kind of want to get my thoughts out there, especially because I know some people might immediately go to my videos and be like, oh, you're attacking Peaches, therefore you hate him and you must be against them, which it's it's not that simple. And I do want to say that I don't know, I know in like a comment on Lyle's video here, he says that Peaches now uses he, they pronouns. So I'm going to respect those pronouns. I'm a member of the LGBT community myself. I am all for trans and non-binary rights. I will not ever <laughs> dismiss someone's pronouns, even if they're the scum of the earth. Like, I can be a decent human being and respect your pronouns, even if I don't necessarily like you as a person. If I do mess up at all and I use she, her by accident, please forgive me. I mean, like, I, I literally just realized like an hour ago that Peaches uses he, they pronouns, so if I slip up at all, it's only because like mentally, I've only ever used a certain set of pronouns towards them, and I might fall back into that. So please be forgiving, and feel free to call me out if I do slip up, because I I do really care about getting people's pronouns right, so call me out on that if I screw up. And lastly, just don't send any harassment towards Peaches or Lyo. Like, I do think Peaches screwed up, but they're not a bad person like I don't know so there was a couple points in here that I wanted to specifically address and then I'll kind of add my thoughts afterwards so it's somewhere around here just... this is the same it's like the tables are turned, you know this point especially is absolutely hypocritical considering Crystal's conduct when they were 18 which would make them unfit to deal with the glitchtail situation by their own standards a fear that lingers within us is that the GTC and the groomers associated with it will exploit this situation as a gotcha against us. This thought fills us with dread, and I struggle to comprehend why hopeless peaches would ever put us in such a vulnerable position. You mentioned people using this situation as a gotcha against you. Wouldn't that also apply to you and your actions since you were 18? Considering you, yourself, found yourself in a similar situation like peaches, actively directed sexual content at children in a server you moderated. I guess every person in the Glitch Tales chat should make a similar threat on you. But framing you as a sexual predator over this is stupid, which is why it hasn't been done. In our call after you released this thread, you backtracked and made excuses for your behavior like being freshly 18, this being normalized to you, and so on. I agree that Ages should have absolutely come up, and agree. they were not. Yes, they were not. Mm -hmm. But I'm again, I gave you full context of what Peaches was doing. So... <laughs> 
one of the things that bothers me a lot, I forget where exactly it was in the video that I saw this, it's kind of sprinkled throughout, but see, here, like, Laya was kind of, like, calling out, like, Crystal and stuff, I'm not sure what pronouns they use, I'm, I'm guessing she, her. See, I haven't even really looked over the thread by Crystal, I didn't even know there was a thread on Twitter because I don't really use Twitter. I used to have a Twitter account and I made one just for the sake of like my first video on this topic and then I deleted it immediately after because I just don't care to be on there. But I think one of the things that bothers me is how like Lyo and Peaches keep using the fact that Peaches was groomed as an excuse for what happened and I think you know, like, people are taking it to the extreme, and I think, like, Crystal's in their claims, they're kind of painting Peaches out to be, like, this groomer or, like, a horrible person, and I don't think it's either or. I don't think it's a case of Peaches is, like, a horrible person and was grooming people and was engaging in, like, sexual content with minors, but I also don't think it's a case of, like, well, Peaches was groomed, therefore they should be let off scot-free. What I think it's a case of is, <laughs> like, let's say, for example, I'm gonna share a little bit of my own personal experience because I've dealt with mental health struggles for many, many years, and like Peaches, I have made attempts on my own life when I was younger, and because of that, like, I was going through a lot when I was, like, 17, 18, 19 years old. I was in a terrible, terrible mental place, and because of that, like, you know, because of the content I surrounded myself with, because of my group of friends and stuff like that who also kind of participated in, like, the same behavior and stuff, I would frequently talk about, like, you know, like, wanting to end my own life in front of my friends and stuff. Like, I would talk about stuff like that. It was normalized, and so I would kind of, like, in my head, that was a normal thing to do. It was a normal thing to talk about, and I was going through a lot, and it did make a lot of my friends really uncomfortable, and I think it impacted their mental health. And... That is a situation where even though I was in a terrible mental space, like I was, my mental health was terrible, there was stuff actively going on that was traumatizing me and hurting me, I still have to take accountability for the fact that I said and did things that were inappropriate and that made other people uncomfortable, and it wasn't, it shouldn't have been normalized to talk that way, even if, like, the stuff I was surrounded with kind of normalized it. And yes, Peaches did make a response kind of, like, trying to take accountability, but I don't know, from my opinion of the thread, and even just a lot of this in general with the way Peaches is crying and stuff, which I get why they're upset, and I'll probably, like, I'm trying to save some of this for later, but it just, it feels like they're trying to do damage control, and I get why they're upset, because they feel like everyone's attacking them and hates them and wants them gone, but, like, it's not the end of the world, and I think some people are blowing it out of proportion, yes, but I think Peach's response is to, instead of, like, worrying about, say, like, you know, like, they were groomed, and this realization that, hey, they were kind of in a space with minors where they could have stepped up and said something about the behavior, like, that was occurring between other members, and they didn't, like, my my first reaction, if I was in that situation, would be like, oh my god, like, I went through something so traumatic, and I feel so guilty that I didn't step up and say something or realize what was going on. Like, I hate the fact that I exposed someone else to that situation. Like, and it seems like Peaches is more worried about themselves than they are about how their actions affected others. And again, like, I don't think it's something that Peaches should keep being dragged through the mud for, because I do firmly believe that if Peaches apologized, well, the past is in the past. You can't change that. Like, what good is it going to be to keep holding it over Peaches' head, for Peaches's head forever, and just to be like, well, you screwed up. You did this bad thing. You didn't do better. It's not going to accomplish anything. Like, all it's going to do is you're just trying to make someone apologize for the same thing over and over again when they can't go back and change the past. You can't, like, but I'll get into this more later. So let's see here. Where was my 
other point. I was listening to this like after work, so a lot of this is just like I'm vaguely remembering all these situations after areas that caught my an understanding, mind. only to backstab everyone in a public thread that you knew would affect the very mm. people you also came to terms with the night before. Also, this was not your main goal. When we looked at your conduct within the server you share with Water Dorito, you really seem more excited about this happening than actually concerned with whether or not this affects the glitch tail case. Hopeless Peach's over party ring a bell, and you were sitting in the call with me, pretending that you were unaware of this being said as if you hadn't interacted with it actively. Part of the problem here, Crystal, is what you are saying to my face is completely different than what you're saying in your Discord server. Hopeless Peach's is over party ring a bell. So yeah, right here, yeah. and so where was the other one? It was around here, somewhere in this range is a point that I was meaning to get to. Ah, here we go. So this screenshot right here is, from Lyle's words, it sounds like they're kind of celebrating the downfall of Peaches, and while, see, the whole situation is confusing to me because I don't, I do think that Crystal, whoever this person is, is blowing the situation out of proportion. Like, I can, again, I will try and discuss this more later, but it's a complicated, it's complicated because I, I get that maybe they wanted to keep it private at first, and it did sound like they were being understanding and stuff. But I do think that they had some valid concerns about Peach's behavior, but they're just... They took those valid concerns and kind of, like, made it into something that's ten times bigger than what it initially was. And here, this doesn't read as people being upset like, trying to celebrate Peach's downfall, it seems more like, you know, like, worst part is Peach's has called out people for less and was absolutely ruthless to them. Everyone has been so paranoid over their old drama, they've been too scared to call them out for any reason, and their community has just been en enabling their worst habits, and now we're here. And I, I agree with that. I mean, like, I do think Peach's... <laughs> I think that there's probably been a lot of stuff that's just been swept under the rug because people are afraid of stepping stepping on their toes and upsetting Peaches because, you know, just because Peaches is a victim and because Peaches has been hurt by drama in the past doesn't mean that they are immune to criticism and immune to, like, being called out and growth and stuff. I mean, something my therapist said yesterday about the situation is something that really stuck with me, and I want to highlight that here, is that we all are the villain at some points in our lives. Sometimes we're the hero, sometimes we're the villain, and sometimes we're just somewhere in the middle, but no matter what, like, we all take a turn being the villain at some point. We all screw up. We all do stupid things. It's just some people are villains more often than others. Some people are heroes more often than others. And that's something that Peaches has to learn is, look, you're going to fuck up and you're going to screw up and make mistakes. You're going to make people mad. But all you can really do is take these opportunities to grow and learn and better yourself like, take this opportunity as a chance to grow and to, and to look at yourself and say, hey, I'm being a bit hypocritical. Like, not, like, it's not that I'm a predator, but it's that, like, my issue is the fact that Peaches was ruthless and harsh to people like Rosa, for instance, and, like, by their own standard, we shouldn't offer any sympathy to people who, like, you know, like, guard guard predators or don't speak up about inappropriate behavior, but then when Peaches is called out for doing something similar, albeit on like a slightly lesser scale, then it's kind of just like, well, they were being groomed and stuff, and it's just kind of like excuses are made, and it's just like, maybe you're right, maybe we shouldn't call people out like Rosa as harshly as we did, maybe like people are being overly harsh to Peaches, but what is your standard then? Because you're kind of expecting two completely different situations to be treated completely differently. And it's just like, you can't ask people to not, like, you can't set a standard for how people like this should be treated and then 
be surprised when people are holding you to the same standard that you set. And I wanted to dive into some of the comments because I think there's some newer comments that aren't really being shown that like I wanted to kind of like talk about. And then uh drop. I found it weird you don't see Crystal dropping peaches as fair since those are yes alleged. It's fair for Crystal to drop peaches. It's still fair for Crystal to drop peaches. You also knew FCK server logs for months from Laka screenshot. Crystal doesn't have to give you her peaches an apology. And just, I'm also not like a fan of Omnia or Kai either. I'm like completely disconnected from the community right now. I saw some earlier. Here's one that I like this. I do agree with this. I haven't finished the video yet and have my thoughts on a lot of what was said so far, but I want to point out something to the people who think that what Peaches did was grooming. Grooming is the act of building a relationship with a victim in order to prepare them for abuse. There needs to be intent. It is not just making stupid sex jokes in the presence of a minor. While that's still bad, uncomfortable, and should be addressed, it's not the same as grooming, and I'm sick of people who mangle the word to fit their own agendas. Yes, absolutely, 100% I agree with this person. Making sex jokes to a minor with the intent of easing them into more extreme sexual situations or abuse is grooming, because it is a form of intentional normalization to get the minor to feel more comfortable with the groomer and sexual topics. Being immature and not properly regulating yourself around children is still wrong, but not grooming. It just indicates a lack of forethought. Which I agree with 100%. What Peaches did was not grooming. It was simply them being immature and not knowing better, not having the mental capacity to analyze their behavior and to realize that, hey, this environment is wrong. And I still think it's something that Peaches, you know, like rightfully should be held accountable for, and I'm glad that people called them out on it, but I think that people are taking this and blowing it up into, like, an extreme thing when it's not grooming, because even though I did bring up a point before about, like, how Peaches made, like, artwork and gave it to Toasty, who posted it in the server, it's just, like, I don't think that Peaches was intending to groom anyone. It was just a case of, like... Peaches made, like, sur like, surrounded themselves in a bad environment full of toxic behavior. And, I don't know, I'll address a couple more things on that afterwards, but I do really like that comment. That is really good. I agree with that. And then there's, like, you probably know me from the Zay video, but in all seriousness, why couldn't Peaches make their own video debunking evidence against them by themselves? Sorry, I just wanted to understand how Peaches feels. Personally, I don't really understand why it seems like you're speaking over them, because I chose to handle it. I'm in the better mental space to do so. Which maybe you are, but, like, I don't know. It just... You don't need to, like... I get that right now Peaches is probably breaking down, needs to step away from the internet, and maybe you guys are doing damage control, but... I don't know, I just, I would rather not see these pushed out responses, and especially because, like, it seems like they're focusing on the low-hanging fruit that's easier to debunk, like, these allegations than they are about the, like, the, the calls where Peaches was using, like, ableist language and stuff, which I get that this is probably easy to debunk and they're the more serious allegations, because, like, allegations of being a child predator or grooming and stuff, that can ruin your life forever. Those are serious allegations. But I would much rather not see Lyo jumping to Peach's defense, and I would rather see Peach's just stepping away from the internet, seeing a therapist, taking time to calm down, and to try and sit with their thoughts, you know, just take a complete mental break, and then come back and speak for themselves, and actually demonstrate that they've changed, and that they're aware of the problems of their actions, and they're going to do better moving forward. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's just really angry for no reason. I agree with some of this, but just, again, that's kind of like the black and white thinking. I'm not even going to read that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and apparently people are saying Peach has deleted their channel. So, like, there's a lot of good comments here, but I think it is good to also just, for people watching the videos, to look, sort the comments through new, 
because there's going to be comments that get buried and stuff. And it's just good to look at things from a balanced perspective. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's a good one. I feel like people are angry because this same charitability that is lent to Peaches isn't lent to others. Dorito says, because of things that have happened to me in the past, I want to know if someone is leaking from my server and is completely dismissed, not looked into what she meant, why that could explain why she asked, why it could affect her, if anything traumatic happened to her, you just seemed annoyed by them asking and giving context. However, when Peaches does something he actively acknowledges was wrong, every detail of his past is accounted for and factored into your response and opinion on it. This is just one offhand example, and of course no one expects you to know the detailed past and traumas of everyone you speak to, maybe it's just the way you interact. I also don't understand the idea that taking account accountability is a one-time thing. Accountability is something you choose to do over and over again. Instead of dismissing your actions, people bringing up what you did, only what you did, not made up things, is a part of accountability. Apologies are a part of accountability. Acknowledgement, sadness, and guilt are all a part of taking accountability. Doing these things once and then saying you shouldn't have to do them again comes across a bit indignant because it's not the person who did wrong or their friends call to make when they are done taking accountability. It's the call of those affected. Uh, again, I want to just rebuttal that and say, look, accountability is something where it's like, you can't just say one and done. Like, oh, it's like, for like, because it depends on the severity of the situation too. I mean, I do believe that like, you just can't expect someone to keep apologizing for the same thing over and over again. You can't hold the past against someone, but you can ask them to say, if you're sorry, demonstrate that you're changing, show the changes in your actions. And I think the people who are affected can kind of say, look, like, I don't think you've really worked enough on yourself to say that you've properly changed, like, you know, like, but to ask someone to come out and say, I'm sorry, a hundred times, it's just like, at the end of the day, you can only ask someone to apologize so much. And then you have to be willing to let go and to try and work on yourself and to work past it. So, like, if I cheated on someone, I wouldn't demand an apology when people called my faithfulness into question. So Peaches or his friends demanding apologies of people while simultaneously complaining about having to take accountability more than once or saying he's all done, having to come across... Having to come across... <laughs> I been up too early today. Having to comes across very badly for his public image. Just a perspective, not a defense of anyone named in this video. So, like, I don't know. And I saw something about Rosa earlier, where, and then Lyle responded by saying, like, oh, like, well, Rosa's a pathological liar. And it's just like, I'm just, I didn't listen to the whole call, but I'm just sitting here like, is Rosa a pathological liar? Or was she giving you false truths because she didn't understand the gravity of the situation and from her perspective, she just felt like she was being backed into a corner and so she was saying anything she could to get out of it. Because sometimes when people are backed against a wall, they enter into a flight or flight mode where they're just... <laughs> you may not agree with it, but from her perspective, she may have just been trying to get out of the situation, getting out of the stressor, and to just <sighs> break free. And in another comment, it sounds like Lyo was just like, well, I don't know what more you can expect. We took accountability. We apologized to Rosa. But again, it's just the way they're talking about it still makes it sound like he's, <sighs> like he doesn't fully understand what he did was wrong or the issues with treating her that way. I don't know. I'm going to end this part here and then I'm just going to take a little breather and I'll continue my thoughts in the second part. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back and I've got some ducks because, oh man, I think we all need some ducks right now because like... <sighs> Me and my therapist were talking yesterday, just like, you know, even just about the effects, like, the situation it can have on, like, a viewer's mental health, because it's draining to go through. And I don't think Peaches is a bad person, but, again, from, like, one of the things is, like, you know, like, me and my therapist were talking about how cancel culture is kind of like a double-edged sword. And that's something I'd maybe like to dive into in, like, a future video, but I think it's something where it's just, like, no matter what, um, what's gonna keep happening is someone like Akumo or Kumo, like, they're gonna call out 
Peaches or like this crystal person, they're going to call out Peaches and then Peaches and Lyle are going to get upset and they're going to respond and then it's just going to fuel the people calling them out to respond and to expose them again and it's just, it creates a never-ending loop where someone ends up feeling hurt that they're being called out and they try to expose the other people and also I think I had to pull out my DBT workbook for this because I want to go over some stuff in the DBT book. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with what DBT is, I'll just say something about myself really quickly. When I was like 18, 19, which was several years ago, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. I get that there was someone else in the community, like was it Toby who has BPD? And I'm in a much better place now. I have a really good therapist. I'm <laughs> I'd like to think I'm fairly balanced. I've still probably got a lot of things I need to work on in myself, but I'm a lot better than when I was that age. But DBT is basically the type of therapy that we that is most commonly used for treating BPD, and it's similar to like CBT, which is often used for anxiety, um, like OCD and stuff like that. So like CBT is like cognitive behavioral therapy. DBT is dialectical behavioral therapy. So DBT focuses on mindfulness, interpersonal effectiveness, emotion regulation, and distress tolerance. And it's kind of focused on like building skills and stuff. But I think that there's, it has a lot of useful applications even just outside of BPD. And one of the things I want to go over that it talks about in the mindfulness section, um, and I think this is relevant when it comes to the whole, like, you know, people calling Peaches and Lyo out versus, like, how Peaches and Lyo responds is the wise mind, how there's three different states of mind. So we, all of us, we have a reasonable mind. We have an emotion mind and the wise mind. So think of like the left brain and the, and the right brain. So reasonable mind is cool, rational, task focused. When in reasonable mind you are ruled by facts, reason, logic, and pragmatics. Values and feelings are not important. Emotion mind is hot, mood dependent, emotion focused. When in emotion mind you are ruled by your moods, feelings, and urges to do or say things. Facts, reason, and logic are not important. Wise mind is the wisdom within each person, seeing the value of both reason and emotion, bringing left brain and right brain together, the middle path. So what I think is kind of happening here is some of the people, like, I want to say Crystal is taking more of an emotion mind approach, but like people like Akumu are taking kind of like a reasonable mind approach where they're just laying out all the facts. They're, they don't, he doesn't really care about Peaches' feelings or whatever like that. He's basically just like, this is these are the facts. You could say he's emitting information, but I didn't really, I don't really remember hearing any, like, grooming allegations when I watched the video. It just more seemed like he was just saying, these are the logs, this is what he saw, and just laying it out and kind of calling Peaches out. Whereas Peaches and Lyo are responding from an emotion mind where the emotions are high, tensions are high, and they're reacting and saying things like, from a purely emotional standpoint, trying to defend themselves, trying to protect themselves, trying to protect their image. And I don't think either party here is really coming at it from a wise mind perspective where they're able to be balanced in their emotions and to address things calmly and properly. And it's hard to do when it comes to like cancel culture and stuff like that because when you're getting cancelled, you're gonna wanna, like, defend yourself. It's gonna be upsetting. It's gonna hurt. Um, and there's a lot of this stuff I could talk about. Like, I really wanna make more videos talking about different skills and how it applies to the situation. But I don't think Peaches is a horrible person. It's just they've done some problematic things and at the same time I don't think you should really be using your grooming as a, a crutch like I get that I get that Peaches was going through a rough time when they were in that server and I don't think it's something that like should be held against them forever but I think you have to just kind of keep in mind the fact that hey like it <sighs> Just because you were going through something traumatic doesn't make 
what happens like more appropriate it's and like it seems like they're kind of acknowledging the fact that it was inappropriate but like peach is like the way he's approaching it is kind of just like focused on himself and his own feelings and how it ties back to his grooming and stuff instead of focusing on his growth and the fact that he was being a bit hypocritical in how he acted towards other people and to say something else because this is going on a different a bit of a different tangent but it's something that came into my mind i like to read tarot cards and stuff I use tarot as a tool for self-reflection and growth, and this is something I've also discussed with my therapist a lot, because she also uses tarot, and, like, you can think what you will about it, but I've found a lot of growth in it, and one of the cards, well, two cards, actually, that comes to my mind when I think about the Peaches situation, and this is a kind of, like, a message for Peaches, is if he ever wants to, if he ever listens to this, I doubt he will, but... When I think of the situation, I think of the cards, the tower and the star. I might put an image of the tower in here so you guys can see what I mean. But the tower is a card that's usually associated with destruction, disaster, everything's falling down, everything's falling to ruins. Like, everything's falling to ruins and everything is falling apart. And a lot of times people tend to view the tower when it comes up as like this bad thing like you know it's like they're scared of it but when we look at the tower we see that it's falling down but why is it falling down because it was built on shaky foundation it's like if you build if you go to the beach and you build a house out of sand well sure you got a house but it, it's out of sand and you built it on a beach i mean when the wave comes along and it comes up to that house the wave is going to knock it over. It's made of sand. It's not going to stay. And then maybe you might try and rebuild it with sticks this time, but well, sticks aren't very stable, and so it might last you a little bit longer, but then the wave is going to come and crash it down again. And the issue is that the house was built on shaky foundation, and with peaches, I think that, you know, like, kind of in the beginning before that initial drama they built their house up and that house was made of sand it was just like there was a lot of stuff that they were struggling with and that house was basically like you know like, as soon as that wave came it was ready to come and knock it down and so then they rebuilt the house a second time and it was a little bit more sturdy this time but there was still some critical errors in their thinking and their behavior that they haven't fully addressed that created cracks in the foundation. And now this bigger, stronger wave has come and it has broken that house down finally because the foundation was not stable. The foundation could not withstand it. And so now Peaches feels broken. There is no house. What will they do? You know, like they're left in the open. But I hope that they can take this and realize that, like, this is an opportunity to rebuild stronger. But you have to be willing to face your flaws and to accept the fact that you're not perfect and that's okay. And there's going to be people who hate you, who want nothing to do with you. There's going to be people who never forgive you and who think the worst of you for the end of time. You're not... You're not going to earn the love and respect of everyone, no matter what you do. There's going to be people that hold your mistakes against you forever and will never forgive you. That's the internet. Like, that's just it. You can't change that. But what you can do is you can look at yourself and you can take this opportunity to see where did you go wrong? Where do the faults lie in your behavior? So, you, so when you're rebuilding that house, you're not building it out of sand or out of flimsy material. So I am very ticked off at myself because I just probably recorded like 20 minutes or so of me rambling away only to like try and stop recording only for like OBS to say, oh, you don't have enough disk space. And so I only caught like 10 minutes of me rambling away on here. So that is fucking fantastic. So now the ducks are also reset to where they were at before, so enjoy that. But... What I was trying to say was about the whole, like, the whole house thing, right? So, like, I'll have to go back and edit this later, because I don't know how much I was, how much it actually caught. But, 
when you build a house made of sand, like the way you when the wave eventually comes, it's just going to knock it right down, right? And then you might try and start again by building it with sticks or something like that. It's a little bit more sturdy, and maybe it will withstand a little bit longer, but eventually that wave is still going to come and crash and crash it down. And with peaches, it's like the house in this case is themselves. And so when you're rebuilding that house, you want to be careful in how you're laying out the foundation. You don't want to just rush through it and to try and like, you know, like, you don't want to rush through it and try and just quickly lay that foundation down and get up the house as fast as you can and use cheap materials and stuff. You want to actually put in the time and effort to better yourself and to like build a stable foundation. And sometimes that means being completely honest with yourself and looking at the parts of yourself that you want to avoid. Like being honest with yourself about your flaws and looking at the ugly parts of yourself that you want to avoid and not address but doing that is like the only way you can really grow <laughs> and so my advice to peaches is like i know that everything is really hard right now but after the tarot <laughs> after the tower in tarot comes the star which represents positivity and healing so maybe what happened was when you started, you were going through a lot. You were being groomed. There was a lot of trauma. It affected the way you viewed things and the way you acted. So as you were building your house, you built it out of sand. And that house was just never meant to, to last. And so eventually that wave came and it crashed it down. And that wave was creep show art and that drama. And since then, you've tried to rebuild it. And you've rebuilt it a little bit stronger, and there's been some waves that have attempted to knock you down, but for the most part you're still standing. But now this big wave has come and finally knocked you off your feet, and now you're left with no house. You feel like everything is crashing down around you, the whole world hates you, everyone wants to see you suffer. But the thing is, is you're not irredeemable, you're not, you're not beyond growth or beyond healing you can still change and do better but you have to be willing to be honest with yourself about your flaws and not just sweep them under the rug or make excuses or use your trauma as an out but when you go back to where the rub the rubble of your house is and you're looking at it and you're trying to decide how am i going to rebuild this so when the waves come and wash over me how am I going to rebuild it in such a way that it's not going to just <laughs> crumble immediately? You want to take your time and pick the right materials to be careful and not rush through it to try and get to the end. You're going to take your time laying that foundation. You're going to be careful rebuilding it. You're going to take full accountability and you're going to be completely honest with yourself about your flaws, about the ugly sides. Because if there's rot in the wood that you're laying down for your house, you don't want to just lie to yourself and be like, oh, well, this wood is salvageable. No, you want to be honest with yourself about the fact that that wood is rotting, and maybe you feel bad that you wasted money on, like, a piece of wood that you're not going to use, but you'd rather throw that wood out and get something that's going to be stable and build a steady foundation than to try and make it work anyways because you're too embarrassed to admit that you got the wrong material and you made a mistake in the building process. It's okay to fuck up. It's okay to make these mistakes. And maybe, maybe you'll rebuild your house again. And maybe it won't be... Like, maybe it'll last you a lot longer this time and maybe eventually it'll still be come crashing down again because... It won't withstand it forever. But then instead of taking that and using that as a way of being like, oh my god, see, like, I'm horrible, nobody loves me, I'm just irredeemable, I'm awful, I need to just escape the internet. Instead, that's another learning opportunity for you to look at the rubble of your house and to say, okay, what did I do wrong this time? How can I fix it going forward? And I know that right now everything seems hopeless, but... <sighs> After the t after the tower comes the star, and that is hope and healing and positivity. And it means that right now everything is horrible, everything feels like it's crashing down, but it won't be that way forever. 
once you've rebuilt and the the chaos is over, you will find peace again. But in order to find true peace, you need to be honest with yourself. Because you, I don't believe in the notion that Peaches isn't capable of growth. Peaches isn't inherently horrible. They've just made some terrible decisions. And it's up to them. It's like, do you want to just not take accountability and kind of keep making excuses for yourself? Or do you want to really take the time to just focus on yourself, be honest with yourself about your flaws, and work on growing? And I don't know, there's a lot more I could say, and I did say a lot, and then that clip got deleted. But this probably won't be the last video I make on the situation. Because I would like to go further into detail about like the DVT stuff I was covering, because I only touched on it a little bit with the wise mind, but I am kind of excited to touch on it more in the future with going into like interpersonal effectiveness, mindfulness and stuff like that, like dear man skills, because I think that whether it's creators who are watching this or just viewers, I think that there are skills in here that I can tie back to the situation and provide examples for that would really help people watching and maybe give more of a balanced perspective. So at the end of the day, like, no, I don't think Peaches is some horrible groomer who was actively maliciously trying to, like, <sighs> indoctrinate the minors into thinking that, like, sexual behavior and stuff was okay, but I just think Peaches was being really hypocritical and not, and kind of, like, holding other people to these high standards and then getting upset when they're being called out for basically the same thing. It's like, you can't have it both ways. You can't hold other people to the standard and then be upset when people treat you by that same standard. So, I don't know. This is just kind of a rough video. I'm tired. I want to go to bed because I have been up all day and I am exhausted emotionally, physically. But... I would like to make some lighter videos in the future. I'd like to cover more of the DBT stuff. I just want to, I like providing balanced approaches, and I just hope that this can, I can kind of be a reasonable, level-headed voice in a sea of, like, angry ones and people who are just cold and not wanting, and not caring about the emotions of people either. I just, I hope I can be kind of a neutral party, and maybe I won't get that many views or whatever like that. I don't really care. I just want to have a voice and to help people as best I can. I don't need acknowledgement or fame or whatever. If this even helps one people, one people, <laughs> I'm so fucking tired. If this can even help one person in the way they view the situation, well then, I've done my job and <sighs> that makes me happy. So that was my very, very rough approach to this whole thing. I will follow up on this in different videos once I've had more time to sit down, gather my thoughts, you know, like, go over things, but I just wanted to say my piece on this for now, especially because I also don't want people to be like, oh, well you called out peaches, therefore you were a bad person and saying, like, and agreeing with these horrible allegations. Like, no, I don't think peaches is horrible or a groomer or anything. I just think Peaches is flawed and can do better. Maybe I'm being lenient, but it's because I believe everyone is capable of growth, no matter how horrible. Peaches just has to be willing to grow. Lyo can't do that for them. I can't do that for them. Peaches' friends can't do that for them. Peaches has to be the one to take accountability and growth, and that is doable, but only if Peaches is willing to admit the faults in their foundation and to take the time carefully rebuilding, and to not rush through it, and to be honest with themselves when there is cracks, and not just hide them. So those are my thoughts. This whole situation is kind of a mess, but I hope that I made some sense, and if you guys like this, please feel free to check out some of my other videos, and hopefully I'll see you in the future. But please, just take care of yourselves, because this situation is so heavy and draining that it's got to take a toll on, like, everyone's mental health. The people involved, the people watching. So just look after yourselves, guys. Just take a mental break from the internet. I know I sure as hell need one. Just take care of yourselves, and maybe I'll see you guys in the future.